Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt. This is my wife, Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching episode 11 and 12 of The Sopranos. What did you think of the last two episodes? The last two episodes were interesting. Um, I think honestly, like the last four episodes have been different. Yeah, a much, I guess, slower pace. I say slower because that's the only word I can think of, but a slower pace these last four episodes than the previous episodes of season six and maybe for other past seasons as we're getting towards like the last couple of episodes of the season, typically kind of ramps up a little bit. Whereas this, I think it's really taking its time, especially focusing on characters that we don't spend too much time with. Yeah, and we're also just seeing like a major decline in Tony. His like mental state, his kind of attitude towards things, everything, it just seems like there's just a lot of downers happening. Yeah. Um, obviously the show does its best to not like glorify this kind of lifestyle, but it feels like we're just getting like hit over the head with just like so many dark things the past couple of episodes. Yeah, uh, I think we commented in the last reaction that I don't think there's a single character in a good spot or a happy spot or anything. Yeah. So, I mean, we only have like, I don't know, after this, we're only gonna have like nine episodes left or something after these two. So it's crazy that we're coming to the end. It still hasn't really hit me that we're so close to the end of this show because I feel like there's just so many storylines, so many characters that I have no idea where we're going next. Yeah, there's a lot going on. So I am obviously excited, but I'm the same every week. I'm like, ugh, we're like one <laughs> week closer to being done with the show. Yeah, so I can't wait to see how this ends. The way that it's looking, I don't think anyone's gonna get some like happy ending. I think it's just gonna continue to be like a depressing downfall until the show's over. Yeah. So we'll see. Um, also, guys, I'm so excited. We got a new chair. <laughs> Yeah, we have a new seating setup. Uh, we've talked about it extensively and past reactions, our uncomfortable seating situation. We're going to get into much greater detail about what we're doing and what we're sitting in and stuff, but uh, we couldn't wait to actually have a comfy thing to sit on. So we're using it now. Yeah, no, we had to use it right away. So <laughs> we'll touch on it later because we're very excited. New chairs and uh, hopefully we don't fall asleep now because the last chair was so uncomfortable that it kept us awake. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, and no more, no more maybe like farty noises. So we'll see. That's another thing. Yeah, uh, that old chair made constant fart noises if you slightly move. I don't know about this. We'll see. We'll see what so happens. Far. Yeah. So, anyways, <laughs> rant on the chair over. But I'm excited to get in these episodes. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Instagram, or Twitter. All those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the episodes. What's going on? Oh, lost his job? Fired three weeks ago. Damn. The store's policy was very clear. Yeah, well, maybe I care about the environment. Sure. I was making money promoting parties in high school. That was no good. Everything you do is illegal. What, I should care about Blockbuster? It's fucking religious fanatics. Blockbuster's religious fanatics? You spend $1,000 a night on champagne? No, no. <laughs> yeah, what? Oh, the girl he crippled when he flipped over the car. Is she there drinking champagne with you? What story is that? If it makes you feel any better, I've been looking for a new job. Every day online. So where is he going? Probably just the club. You were growing up. If it wasn't for her, I would have knocked all your baby teeth out with one shot. Damn. How old is he too? Like 20? Well, I guess maybe 21 if he's going to clubs now. Yeah. Unless he's getting in illegally. Uh, yeah. How much money is he throwing at them? AJ. Somebody call? <laughs> Tony. Deep down, it's like this big fuck you to everything. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> oh, maybe it'll surprise you. Aren't you the sunny optimist when you want to go to sleep? <laughs> I mean, if I decide I'm med school, that'll look really great on my application. You are following this man to California. <laughs> Tony just wants to sleep. You'll be back for Christmas at least. I don't know. No pressure, please, okay? I mean, she's old enough to not necessarily need their approval or anything. But like... They're mad at AJ for not reaching for the stars, doing all these things, and then she's... Doing something. Something that could benefit med school. It's not like she's just going to California and gonna, like, sit there. They just don't want her to not be home. Yeah. But I gotta get some relief on this other situation. In, like, a Costco? <laughs> Remember I told you about that trip to Paris? Well, the date is here, and 
I think I would like to go. Dang, Meadow's going to California. She wants to run off to Paris. I know. You want a trip to Paris. Why do you have to lie? I'm not. You're always saying I'm lying. I don't remember that. <laughs> I think Carmela's lying. I can't get away for a week, Tom. I could go with Ro. You should go. You deserve it. Do whatever it is that boys do when they're on their own. Sleep with other women? I think Carmela really does need this, though. Oh, yeah. Look. <laughs> Tony. Hey. Whoa! What the fuck? Did we, like, skip an episode? First off, I pay my way back in. I got 200k that goes directly to you. Okay. Tony speaks money. But how is this gonna play out with everyone else? I got contacts in AC. I'd be close, but not too close. Don't turn your back on me. He was fucking stalking you, T. He came with a plan. We don't want Atlantic City. He, he's out there. He's not part of us. Trickle of cash coming in each bunk. Tony's in. He does like the money. Polly has much worse things to worry about now. I think Polly's still pissed, though. No, this is the real Louis Vuitton. Whoa. Louis v Vuitton? When you were in that coma, I told you I loved you. Do you remember? No. <laughs> <laughs> I should tell you more often. After you give me $15,000. Right. You can't tell anyone. Even your friends at school. Are you going to have to go back to Afghanistan? CIA doesn't tell you. Oh, yeah? CIA? You got to keep this secret. I won't. I won't. So. You better not. I won't. <laughs> I won't. I love you guys. Yeah, I'm like, how is his wife coping with this? Yeah. How long till you can move back in with us? Just until I straighten this shit out with Tony. Wouldn't he be in Atlantic City? So he's not coming home, technically. I mean, maybe she, he hasn't told her yet. I thought I made it clear. I don't have a problem. It's over with. I'm seriously thinking we should have another kid. Oh my God. <gasps> Hi. Fuck you. Is Who's it really calling him? Is this Phil? No. Oh, this guy. I got kids. I couldn't live without him. Bullshit. It was the fucking life you couldn't live without. Yeah, right? I miss you. I don't want to know you. I don't want to hear your voice. Don't know what else he was expecting. Right? Do you bowels just jam up when you fly? <laughs> I just feel like something's gonna happen. In Paris? No, to him, to Vito. Oh, like, he's gonna run into someone. I was wondering if you could floor me 20K at two points. But maybe now's not a good time for you. No, I could do that. You know I'm good for it. Would you stop? <laughs> Every physical touch. He's obviously just trying to get in the good graces of as many people as possible. I gotta tell you, Anthony, if Vito was here and you knew about it, fuck this. Starting to get a lot of pushback from Phil. Me and Tony went to Miami. He knows like six words in Spanish, but he was right out there with him. It was fucking Ricardo Monto. <laughs> Rose just wants to go to bed. Oh my God. Holy shit. Are they just now realizing they're somewhere else? built this they were so focused on being like tourists they forgot to just pay attention to where they actually are surgeries constant pain for what come out here and get shadowed with something like this if you don't wanted to pursue that lifestyle you should have done so quietly he was wasn't he <laughs> not quite enough well color had the biggest problem with it let him handle it who i would just give it over to phil why couldn't he stay wherever the fuck he was he didn't like hard labor. Beat yourself up about this. I would just call Phil and be like, Phil, if you know he's in town, have your guys find him and take it out. I don't know if he'll do it, though, because technically they're family. I'm so embarrassed in front of father. Damn, even Phil's getting it from his own wife? There's nothing gay about hell, he said. That's good. I'm sure he didn't come up with that himself. <laughs> Vito has to be made to face his problem squarely. Damn, I feel like she hates Vito more than Phil does. Well, you're talking about Vito going to hell for being gay, but then you want to have him offed? Like... Uh, I guess on their uh, totem pole or whatever, <laughs> murder is uh, ahead or below of gay. Probably for, what, her son and her husband? Probably. And Ralphie? Richie? Why do we always <laughs> get their names confused? <laughs> Uh, is someone about to sit up? <laughs> Thought he was having a panic attack. 
<laughs> no, he was enjoying himself. <laughs> what a cut from Carmela and Church to Tony getting road dome. Thanks for the ride. It's like any time. <laughs> you don't need to do that, but you're sweet. You don't need to. Thank you. <laughs> Is that like the first girl Tony's been with since the surgery? I think so. Carmella? That'd be the middle of the night, huh? Probably. Yeah. She's wondering if you thought about my off. Oh. But I need to know who these Atlantic City contacts are. Maybe in a mall. 11 o'clock. He's gonna steal his contacts before he... Kills him? Yeah. Makes sense. Or is he just getting him somewhere? Yeah, I mean, he did ask him to come to the mall. But that's a real public place. Oh! <laughs> what a reveal. Oh. Bye, Vito. So I wonder if Tony gave that to Phil or if Phil just did it on his own. Knowing he was back. Yeah. Mm. So I feel like it would have been better for Tony if Tony would have given off some information or something. Look, we all know who did it. Fucking balls on that prick. That must have been Phil, right? Jimmy Olsen over here. You kind of have to admire the guy. It's that all talk with him. He said this whole lot of trouble. Guess he took care of your problem for you. If it was in a tough situation, his family honor was stained. If I got to veto first, that result would have been the same. Fucking A. If you got to veto first? Is that what he said? Yeah. So he's making excuses for Phil. Wish I had borrowed money from Vito. Oh, that guy did? <laughs> he's got a sweet 20K. It's not about Vito, it's about me. Phil's saying he can do whatever the fuck he wants. That is true. My own family and I can't do a fucking thing about it. That's why I was surprised he was openly uh, okay with Phrasing it. Phil, yeah. Believe me, the vitamins are just the beginning. But he can't be too upset about it because a lot of his other guys wanted, wanted the same it. thing. Yeah. Talk about the History Channel. You would love it here. How's the toast? The what? French toast. <laughs> I just wanted to say hello. I miss you. I miss you too. Be careful, huh? The relationship is better when they're apart and Carmela just gets access to his money. What Phil cares about his fucking money? He's got that wire room in Cheap's Head Bay, right? He's gonna steal money from Phil to get back for killing Vito? I think so. <laughs> Who are you talking to online, AJ? <laughs> She's like disgusted. He came out of the coma for a minute. He said, who am I? Where am I going? Coming here? I feel the same way. Let me get a picture. I think she's having a breakdown. The way they beat him. He didn't even look like a person anymore. Turn that off. <laughs> Is that too gay for you, Phil? Father always says, hate the sin. Love the sinner. I wish I was dead. Isn't this his sister or something? He was a good man, wasn't he, Phil? He was. I'm Taylor. He's going blind. Walk in those shoes. What the fuck? Vito, on some level, <laughs> maybe it's better for the kids not to have that role model. Maybe she was crying because she knows Phil killed him, but she just had to say something. Because if she genuinely just started breaking down about her Taylor. All the women in your house are gone. Is there anything you'd like to discuss? What's wrong with him? Maybe he's just thinking about how to handle yeah, the Phil the situation. I hate my son. Oh, okay, that's a huge drop. If Carmelo let me kick AJ's ass like my father kicked my ass, he might have gone up with some balls. Like you. And yeah, like me. Look where you're at. Taking out his anger at his father's brutality towards him on other. Anthony, we've been dancing around this for years. How you live. Good job, Dr. Melfi. <laughs> what you resent Carmela doing for AJ is the very thing you had often wished your mother had done for you. Damn. She wasn't holding back. No. The only good thing about Tony is his money. Everything else about him is horrible. So I don't know why he would want his son to be like him. She wants his son to be better than him. Life goes on without you. Like it does in Paris when we're not here. Hey. Canard croisé cuit sur son coffre. Jus de miel de citronnier. He could have said literally anything to them. Begin to imagine losing a son. Jesus, calm. Why would you bring this up? It's kind of thinking time and place was Horrible. odd. The brigands of Brigio. I hate them. One of the guys who killed Vito. Oh, is it? 
You know, the autopsy found a three ball in his side pocket. Found a hanky from Carlos' lipstick in his other pocket. I'm just breaking balls. I feel like you're about to get killed, dude. He's just like kind of outing himself. What'd they find up your mother's cunt? Time to hit the oh. trail from a touch, huh? What do you say? Carlos' lipstick was on Vito's car. Oh! Break him! Oh, oh, fucking idiot. Oh. Oh. Hey. He was asking to get stabbed. That was violent. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> Fuck! Shove something up his ass. <laughs> In the middle of broad daylight. Cut him up in the work area. No more of that. <laughs> DNA. Ditch his car. He just still had the dinner? I mean, if you're already making it. Did you eat after that? <laughs> These guys can. <laughs> his body just... <laughs> Sitting there. Oh. They forget to call Tony. Maybe they didn't want him to know. Mm. Tony, you don't want to come in here. Get back in the car and go for a ride. What? Tony. That Dom Gamiello came over. You know, just to break balls. Ray Vito. Still hit him first. That is true. Let me just... They told you not to come in, Tony. Goddamn Vito. Is that a different guy driving? No, that's still the big buff guy. He looks different. He just has a shirt on. <laughs> So I'm assuming that was also a made man? I would assume so. I mean, Phil trusted him enough to do that kill. What's the hardest thing about skateboarding? I give up. Oh, AJ's about to get hit. Yeah. Tony's too angry. You're gonna be working construction, firing cement in a wheelbarrow. So it's outdoors? Yeah, if you're not at that site tomorrow morning, I'm gonna take away your room and I'm gonna take away your mother's cooking. Pretty sure you're gonna be out in the fucking street. I mean, at least he said, I love you. When was the last time he said that? Yeah, I feel like that Dr. Melfi conversation. Oh. Don't put me to the test. Oh, God. Now you need a job. You got to fix your windshield. Can you drive without a windshield? I don't think so. It's like aid. Doesn't it? I found Cosette. Your friend, someone needs to tell her she's dead. Jeez, Carmela. That was dark. Was that our first Carmela dream? Maybe. Can't sleep after you watched your brother-in-law get his face bashed in? Facilitated? Shit! The Toulouse Lutra placements! Rose incredibly forgetful. Relative stated that the victim declaring himself a homosexual. Dad wasn't a spy? No. Jeez, that sucked. Hey, I knew this guy. I shot him for the Thin Club. Oh, that's right. That's our final image of Vito. Is this a head? Oh! <laughs> I was like, he has gloves on, pulling something out of a freezer. Gotta be a body part. She's been very slowly getting rid of stuff. I guess so. What even is that? A sewer? Lead up to the ocean? I feel like you wouldn't want a severed head floating in the ocean. So the barbecue over in Sheep's Head Bay, that's still a go? This music is too pure. Yeah, you have to mash it with, like, violence. <laughs> Ooh! There's your violence. Here he goes again. Yep, he's back on the ride or whatever. It's done. Listen. That was the payback? Him and some schifuza got blown back on their keisters. <laughs> and last transfer of the deed to Jamba Juice. Oh, wow. Oh, is he gonna do something with this girl now? Or is that who was in the room? Maybe. It was like a dark-haired girl, right? You free for dinner? Thanks, but I think I'll pass. She doesn't need you anymore. Yeah. We should wait to decorate till after the baby's born. Again with the superstitions? I'm not Adriana. Man, they already have a bunch of baby stuff? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go shopping. Is this person alive? Who was that? Is that Elizabeth something with an A? Liz LaServa tried to commit suicide. Apparently she got a letter for aid. The letter set Liz off, evidently. Oh, that was Adriana's mom? 
She thinks her daughter is dead. Daughter couldn't stand her, so she moved away. That's what you say to me after our own daughter moves away to California. Huge difference. Between us, she's black. Oh, she's hot too. This is literally like a new and exciting relationship and he already has a new guma. <laughs> is he in love? I'm Anthony. Yeah, I just did your paperwork. I think uh, AJ wants a different lifestyle. Is that Christopher? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a realtor, isn't it? Yeah. With Christopher? I'm sorry, it's such a pigsty. Is that why he's not bringing her around? Can't stop thinking about fucking you all the time. Man, you and Tony have that in common. Yeah, does... Did he ever meet her through Tony? I think so. You'll see, eventually you want kids. It'll be good. I don't want a family with her. That was quick. You're already married. Put a lot of money in my pocket. And yours, too. Talk about Ernest. How about Fat Dom Gamiello? What about him? Twincidence would have it. He was last seen in New Jersey. So was the Hindenburg. Maybe you want to look into that, too. <laughs> A pint of blood costs more than a gallon of gold. This infighting's costing money. Wipe the slate clean. Good, good. Billy, whatever happened there? All right, then. <laughs> Piece of shit's cousin Calm put down, six Phil. bullets in the kid without any provocation. Yeah, I didn't mean to Fuck say- Fuck what you meant, cocksucker. It was a little aggressive. You had it. So awkward. You gonna come over, take me on a date? That was easy. I got a son. He's three. Oh, uh, that's cool. Hey, there's only six numbers. You want to find me, you're going to have to work for it. It's not that hard. <laughs> Call like, what, nine different numbers? <laughs> Ten. <laughs> Zero counts. <laughs> you got a warehouse listed on Panama. What's you asking? Three and a quarter. Damn. Knock something meaningful off the asking. I fix it, you flip it. You're serious about this? Oh, you never do shit like that? I'll get back to you. I think she's gonna end up with both Christopher and Tony. Oh, this is gonna get messy. And I'm not sure what happened, but he left. It was so fucking humiliating. Wait, is this where they met? Yeah, like an AA? Needed to smooth it out, so there's the crystal. Wow, so maybe they didn't meet. Oh, that's worse. Way worse. <laughs> Julie, right? Juliana. I like to share her name. Oh, so we're going back in time? You look familiar. Walk store there, Satrials. You want to go for coffee? Follow me to that dive on Sip and JFK. This was really organic. I guess he did. She did say you look familiar, so I think maybe Christopher was sitting there when she walked up originally. I think it was Christopher, Sill, and Tony, because even oh yes, Christopher was making fun of Sill's like erections. <laughs> but still, they didn't really interact too much. No, but he definitely knows that Tony knows her. That's got to be why he's lying. Yeah telling him about aid and he said we should hire professionals to track her down the intrusion into aid's personal life but what if she's in trouble tony how are you gonna get out of this i know come out the spec house i need you to go lean on that building inspector leave it alone you said give her something to do yeah good holidays to your family huh yeah you too these guys are always here and we <laughs> never do anything with them really i feel like we're gonna find out that they're fbi or something i was confused i'm not now what a coincidence, because that's exactly how I feel. Playing hard to get, huh? Tony won't take no for an answer. <laughs> yeah, he'll buy a $3 million property just to have sex with her. Saw, hostel, Cleveland. Is Anthony Soprano like that? He's just a jumping off point for the character. She getting interested in... Like he thinks everything's his. But it's not. It's just weird, you know, being where he's been. He hasn't been anywhere. So Christopher kind of knows. All right. So they have shared. Yeah, they know enough. They know everything. I don't know if Christopher knows that Tony's still actively pursuing her, like today. Early. Yeah. <laughs> Tony wanted our attention? Fine. He got our attention. Now we wipe him off the planet. Just take out Jersey? But he's testing you all the time, and you keep indulging him. I don't like his advisors. I won't do that. It's been done before. And it was wrong then. Pick somebody over there. You already killed someone. I thought they were squashing this. Or did that deal... It, that died. Remember that real estate agent Tony was dealing with? Tony will fucking mulch his roses with what's left of you. <laughs> Two of you together could be enabling. Bad habits shared. We watch out for each other. Well, I guess we just keep an eye on it. Fucking lucky cocksucker. <laughs> I 
They are sociopaths. Murderers, actually. I know, Aim, but I think you're getting a little carried away. No, not at all. My ex used to go down and kick their asses, but now they're back. Don't try it, AJ. I don't know if you've ever really been in a fight. No, AJ, you're gonna get your ass kicked. Just call your dad. Go hang somewhere else. I'll give you this bike. All right. That was incredibly smart, AJ. I know. <laughs> I guess he's getting rewarded. <laughs> you know who was born on your birthday? Jesse Ventura. He's a famous politician. I looked it up. Isn't he a wrestler? From Predator, right? Eh? Yeah. So she knows you're a soprano? <laughs> Don't talk. That's it. You're fucking grounded. <laughs> so she gonna be sick and Christopher are gonna be sick. Oh. Maybe you could get some valerian tea. You put eight, nine, ten tea bags in a cup. Hey. What the fuck's that gonna do? It's equal to like taking a value. I didn't know that. How's that better? Gotta have some cough suppressant value, right? Well, but she's not a drug addict. She's just an alcoholic. Okay. But Christopher. Yeah, is he just going to be addicted to tea now? That's a lot of tea, too. The building department, they're repealing the stop work order on my spec house. Best Christmas present I could ever get. Oh. <laughs> Better return that vacuum I got you there. Got her vacuum? So stop breaking my balls about clams. I don't feel good. The soft scrub, lemon scented. Isn't that the girl he's having sex with? I got a tightness in my chest up by the esophagus. Is he banging the realtor also? What? Oh, he said he's sick. Now, when one is having a heart attack, the body releases proteins that act as markers. Heart attack? So, his heart is fine? Yep. Jesus <sighs> Christ. Oh, what is this? This is not tea? That ramped up so quickly? What happened to watching, watching each other's backs? Honestly, kind of liked that, too. They did have good chemistry together. Yeah. <laughs> This is not gas. I'm dying. My heart. Oh my god! Can I get a crash cart? Crash cart! I think that doctor's gonna die for sending him home. Phil Yatato took a heart attack. So there is a Santa Claus. Doesn't look too good. Tweet on. Drinks all around. No way. You're happy about this tea? The pain of my balls. The devil you know. Into the sheet of little Carmine. Uh, yeah. Would little Carmine come into place? Oh, Junior. Well, don't you have nothing? You can make a hand turkey. For Christmas? Fucking idiot. <laughs> Visitor from Mr. Soprano? Oh, he's got his, uh, hatch off, too. Yeah, his eye. Just to say you should keep this. It's a little something for you and Karen and the kids. Frankly, I shouldn't be here after what happened with Tony. He's still up on his cross, huh? Oh. You shot him. You see that one over there? An attorney. I'm mounting my case. Oh, man. The fuck you just got here? Happy holidays. Just wow. came to return some money. Yeah, that was sad. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh. You know her? Oh, that's right, you and her. Why were you talking to her? She was just now asking me what to get Kaisha for her birthday. I don't know. That I did not work. No, I feel like Tony could read Christopher. It was bound to happen. Start poking around. Finds out we met in AA, he could suspect I'm using again. So this is the cover up for the drugs? A real estate agent. Yeah? I've been banging her. Why the fuck did you lie to me? I wasn't sure how it ended with you two. I don't give a fuck. Do what you want with her. Uh, he gives many fucks. The fucking turkey neck of a nephew winds up with his dick in there. And this is my reward. Frankly, I'm encouraged. <laughs> you don't have to eat every dish of rigatoni. You don't have to fuck every female you meet. <laughs> In case you didn't get the first reference. These women, they're all sort of the same. So what's that about? What do you think it's about? Why are you putting Dr. Melfi in that category? Yeah, she's the one that stands out. She also denied you. I hang out with you. Because nothing really changes with the therapy part. <laughs> He's still tries, trying to fuck her. The feds out for Harris. Says he wants you to know he's here having a sandwich. <laughs> okay, <laughs> FBI's here. It's been a while. Yeah, right? You're not very popular in Brooklyn right now. So what else is no one? That someone close to you may be in danger. Whoa. Is he giving him a heads up? It's under serious discussion at top levels. Wow. 
What the fuck was that for? Because he kind of has a soft spot for Tony. <laughs> that was his Christmas gift? That was crazy. They just showed up totally free. Bring me home a quattro from Maji. I don't care what time it is. Wake me up. You are in it, Christopher. Here I am. Using. Using. Should we go to a meeting? I don't know. Yeah, you guys should do something. You should have called first. Who the hell's that little guy? Well, I was in that coma. It went someplace. But I know I never want to go back there. We can have it all, Phil. Plenty for everybody. Stop crying now. Wow. We should let him sleep. We gotta stop meeting like this, huh? Who the fuck is this piece of shit? I do not like Phil's advisors. Because yeah. that was like a real moment. That was a real moment between Tony and Phil. Especially now that Tony knows Phil's trying to kill one of his guys randomly. I want to move ahead with the roofing. Ordering the slate. Oh, she threw out the card of the person who was going to try to track down Adriana or something? Is that what she did? Oh, I don't know if that's who it was. Hey, that is quite a bagatelle. It's from Anthony. Really? <laughs> it's like, what? Carmela, it's Meadow. Tell her I kept my promise. I'm wearing your present from Paris. <laughs> <laughs> So she didn't come home for Christmas? No. She's 10 years older than him and she's Puerto Rican. Dominican. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. What are you looking at me like that for? You were overjoyed when I shut him down, eh? Didn't Carmela make up this big stink when Meta was with a black guy? Or Tony made up? Tony, and, and yeah. And Carmela gave Tony shit for that. And now she's doing the same exact thing. And this is also the most, like, mature we've seen. AJ? Yeah. I miss you too. I also just realized Carmela's dad was there. Yeah, they're speaking again now that the house is back on track. You have a gorgeous home. Thank you. We do. What a sweet Christmas moment. All right. So that was episode 11 and 12 of The Sopranos. What'd you think? A lot, again, of like moving parts going on here. Obviously, massive part of the last couple of episodes were the reveal of Christopher sleeping with the realtor. Yeah, I, I would say the two big ones are Christopher sleeping with the realtor and then the reemergence of Vito. Yes. Well, and everything going on with Phil. Yeah. <laughs> so a decent amount going on. So I guess with Christopher, he very quickly got over the excitement and the joy of getting married, having a wife, having kids with her. Super interesting how him and the realtor met. I guess I just wasn't anticipating there being like another way for her to come into Christopher's life. Right. Obviously he's cheating on his wife, which is- Common. Common, but it's never okay. But I did think that they did have like a pretty genuine connection. They did have great chemistry. Even with Adriana, there really wasn't much there. Adriana was just like so nice to him, mm -hmm. but he was always just kind of like a piece of shit. And then that was about it. This actually felt like they, I guess I'm gonna say had something in common, just what they had in common was addiction. Yeah, and it felt more like he, I guess, respected her and treated her more as an equal versus how he was with aid. That's for sure. He also could open up to her probably a little bit more because she would understand his problems of addiction and stuff. Like he was even talking about like the whole ceremony with her where he was like, I shouldn't even be telling you this. Like, yeah, I doubt he ever had that conversation with Adriana, maybe. Probably not. So it did feel nice, like under different circumstances, they would be great together with their chemistry. It's just their chemistry is based in the addiction. And like his sponsor said, Christopher's sponsor was like, no, this is a bad idea. You guys are going to enable each other. There was two options, enable each other or support each other. And they went straight to the enabling. Yeah, as soon as she got sick and now we're just seeing them falling down this rabbit hole. The fact that Christopher would rather tell Tony that he's sleeping with a girl that he tried to sleep with over Tony finding out that he's doing drugs again. Yeah, like, and the way he was justifying it was like, oh, I have to tell Tony or else he's going to end up to the fact that I'm on drugs. Right. It's very bad. We have said it 
multiple times that Christopher just slides down these slippery slopes very easily. They are somehow proud and like congratulating each other of the fact that they have been able to incorporate their drug use into their normal life without people knowing. Mm -hmm. It's only a matter of time. Just like it was only a matter of time for Tony to find out what was going on with that little interaction in the street. It's only a matter of time before one of them goes a little bit too far and pulls the other one with them. Yeah, I feel like they just really feel like they're in control of the situation right now. But if you're so far gone and you have this addiction, there really isn't like a in control middle ground that they should be exploring. Like everything else in Sopranos is going to end horribly. Yeah. Something's going to go bad and their lives are going to get ruined as well as Christopher's pregnant wife. Also, Tony absolutely cares about this. I mean, he immediately brought it up. We like had a hard cut pretty much from that to him talking about it in therapy. Right, and then for him to make a comment on the ice cubes. Yeah, like, oh, you're hogging all the ice cubes. It's like you're hogging the realtor. Yeah. So it's not good. We've already had awkwardness between Christopher and Tony. Yeah. That like felt so off compared to how they interacted with each other in past seasons. So like everything else, it's just deteriorating. There's just so much to like worry about. I mean, Tony is thinking about what Christopher is doing. And then you have Carmela, who was just like going on a mission to try to find stuff about Adriana. So Tony like just threw the house as a distraction to her. Yes, yeah. He sees Carmela get bored. So then he does the house. And then he holds the house hostage because Carmela's not taking care of him at home. Yeah. And then she brings up aid and wanting to hire a private investigator. And he's like, nope, we got to get back to the spec house. It's crazy how it's just so easy to like manipulate Carmela, I guess. Yeah, he's just like dangling this over her yeah, without like, her even knowing. No, just, oh, here's another shiny key to look at. Yeah. I mean, we had a moment where uh, Tony gave her a purse with like 15,000 in it. And her immediate response is like, do I ever tell you that I love you? It's just like, really? Like... That was like the epitome of their relationship. Money, I love you. That's it. That's all they have. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, Tony has so much to think about. And now he also has Phil, which the whole like veto and then blowing up a store and then the history of Tony's cousin killing Phil's brother or something like yeah. that. It's just so insanely messy that Tony is thinking about this situation. And that was like a Christmas miracle for the FBI guy to show up and be like, hey, just to let you know, uh, one of your guys is in danger. That was absolutely wild to me that he would tell Tony that. I don't know why he would do that. I don't know if he has like a special place in his heart for Tony at this point. There's gotta be a bond. Like if you spend so many years of your life interacting and like chasing someone Watching, or something, yeah. it kind of reminds me of like, uh, Catch me if you can or something like mm. that. That relationship essentially turned into like a father-son relationship. Uh, so you have this where it's like, yeah, they're enemies technically, but he was just doing his job and now he has a different job. So he's like, yeah, I mean, I spent so much time with this guy. I kind of have a connection with him. Yeah, like, hey, just want to let you know. And then it led to a very, what seemed like heartfelt conversation between Phil and Tony. Obviously, Tony saying that he's never told anyone that before. Yeah. With everything going on in the hospital. And it felt all real. It felt real. It felt like an actual connection between the two. I feel like the show is being intentional to make you hate his advisors, Phil's yeah. advisors. The way that they were talking in that one meeting, they were very much like, oh, you give Tony too much credit or, or leeway, like you gotta bring the hammer down. Right. And there were even, there were some moments, I don't really remember, but they were like discussing and they were getting details wrong or thinking about things wrong. So I feel like the show is trying to let you know, like these people are aggressive and incompetent. And then you also have the scene at the hospital where like this little tiny guy is like tried to intimidate Tony by like purposely standing in his way. Yeah, and just like, you should have called, like all the little comments he was making, it was like, he's just like a little like, nah, like just- Just go away. Yeah. So I'm afraid that this connection that they might have had in this moment is gonna immediately get washed over because his advisors are like, no, he's lying or go kill him or something. Yeah, or I feel like Phil might take a turn and it's before he has a conversation with them. Yeah. Like really relaying his thoughts or they're gonna be like, oh, he's just 
he's in the hospital, he's incompetent. We should move forward with what hap what he said prior to this happening. Yeah. Or something like that. I also find it interesting that Phil was crying because Phil was one of the first people to, I guess, bring down Johnny Sack for crying. So I just, I thought that was interesting. True. You know, that, True. especially for Tony to be like, hey, stop crying. I forgot about that I with Johnny Sack. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I thought that was a little moment there to kind of be like, hey, look, Phil, you're crying too. Didn't even think about that. I did not put that together, but that is a very good point. So I don't know. Tony just has so much to worry about. I mean, that's always the case. He also is sleeping around again. True. And I mean, he was really trying to get with the realtor, but we saw two different women, uh, one from Bada Bing and and another woman in a hotel. Right. As weird as it is, I feel like Tony felt more normal in these two episodes than in the past four. It's true. Like how he took care of the situation with his son. Yeah. Kind of intimidating him. The conversation he was able to have with Phil. Uh, how he tried to handle like the veto situation. I don't know. He just felt like back in the groove of things. I feel like that's another intentional thing the show was trying to do. That's true. And speaking of, it was a very interesting conversation I feel like he had with Dr. Melfi regarding Anthony. Yes. AJ. I feel like he took it to heart. And then, of course, he stuck a football helmet through his windshield. He sprinkles in a little bit of Tony in there. But, I mean, this is the best that we've seen AJ ever, I want to say. Yeah. Like, um, he actually has, like, a serious girlfriend who has a kid. Like, this isn't something that you can, like, casually be into. I mean, the fact that she's brought, like, he's been around the child. Yeah. And then, you know, how he kind of took care of those guys that were outside. I was going to say, that was, like, a very impressive moment. Whereas the whole time I was just like, AJ's going to do something stupid. He's yeah. going to, like bring a bat and try to hit one of them or a gun, or he's just gonna go try to beat them up and get himself beat up or something bad. But he actually was like, fuck, what can I use to my advantage? Uh, money, okay, yeah. here you go. A lot of the things that he's been doing, like it was not great. I mean, the whole like high school party stuff and then obviously him like reselling stuff from Blockbuster. Like, it was all stupid mistakes to make because they were either illegal, cost him his job, underage drinking, whatever it may be. But they all had like a glimpse of like this kind of business side where it's yeah. like, just push it in like the right direction. Like, utilize that. The more that I think about it, I feel like he is like Tony. He's like stuck. It's like his qualities are in the line of like making him like his dad, but they're not like, uh, I guess, accepted or that you don't want to accept them because you don't want him to be like his dad. But it's like, he's not gonna be a doctor or a lawyer. Yeah. He's barely a construction worker, but he does have that mindset of like, okay, what can I do to work this to my advantage? If I'm right. working at Blockbuster, I can make some extra money by selling their trash, essentially. If I can profit off of dumb high schoolers who are trying to go to a party, like he does have that mindset. Yeah, so it's like you see glimpses of it because really when you think of AJ, you think that he's dumb. Yeah. So there are glimpses of like some intelligence, some good ideas <laughs> in there, but they're all illegal. <laughs> yeah, and you know, obviously he's also very spoiled. So there's that. I don't know. This is like the most that I've felt not annoyed by AJ. Yeah, that's a good point for <laughs> sure. Uh, I don't know where it leads to though. I'm skeptical of the relationship. I mean, AJ is still very dumb. So to be like taking care of a three, four year old yeah. and in a relationship with someone who's like 10 years older than you or something, he doesn't have that world experience. They're in very two different points of their life. Yeah. Um, I can see this ending very badly. Yeah, I mean, he's not mature enough for that to be his lifestyle, but I'm like hoping that- It could, maybe it does lead to this, something good, but- Yeah, or oh. this at least like helps him grow a right. little bit. And I guess the biggest thing is the situation with Vito and how that played into the killing of one of Phil's guys also. Yeah, it just spiraled. I honestly was shocked that Vito just kind of cornered him at the mall, Tony. Yeah. You know, he was kind of like, oh, I have a witness type of thing. And it was like, that's how you're gonna come in. <laughs> Obviously the conversation with 
I think Jim was his name, hit the nail on the head that he didn't really, I mean, maybe he did, part of him probably did miss his kids, but that is absolutely not why he came back. No, and I think his plan was to go to Atlantic City so he wouldn't even be in Jersey anymore. So Yeah, I wasn't sure. I didn't totally understand that. I'm pretty sure. If he sure. was going to go there or just kind of control it. No, I think he was going to go there because I think he said uh, like something about like, oh, like I'll be close, but not here. And, so, and nobody would have to know. I guess that makes sense. So it's like that tells you all you need to know that he wasn't coming back for his family. He was coming back for his lifestyle, which is exactly like the guy from New Hampshire or wherever the hell yeah. they were. That's exactly what he said. He's like, you didn't leave for your family, you left for the lifestyle. But Tony speaks money. Also, Tony wants people to do whatever he wants, no matter what. Mm -hmm. He likes the power and he likes making people do things. Right. So Tony would have gotten a kick out of forcing people to work with Vito because then it just shows how powerful Tony is. And then Tony has one of his highest earners back and he gets richer. So Tony almost went with it. If Phil wasn't so hell bent on this revenge, and then it was interesting to see Phil's wife, it almost seemed like Phil's wife was the one who kept talking in his ear. Like, are you gonna do anything about Vito? Are you gonna do anything? So I don't know. Yeah, the, the wife was... The wife was insane. Yeah, the whole like Taylor thing was so freaking <laughs> weird. But yeah, I think had Phil not found out that Vito was back, I think Tony would have gone forward with it. Yeah. So that was Vito's downfall. And that was, I mean, obviously, I think it caused Phil a great amount of stress for what he did. I would assume that's what put him in the hospital. Right. Um, especially being there, like he kind of wanted Vito to see him and know that it was him. But that wasn't like he, you know, took him out to sea and shot him. Like No, that was extremely violent. Yeah. And then they like desecrated his body afterwards. Right. Which I assume Phil was also present for. And I had that little cut of uh, Phil grabbing the side of the bed mm -hmm. while it was happening, mm -hmm. kind of like squeezing it. Yeah. Like, I don't think he enjoyed seeing what he was seeing. No. Uh, the constant reminder of Phil having to be with, I think that's his sister. You know, everyone just constantly bringing it up. Just put him in the, the hospital. Yeah. And his guys, they fucking suck. Like, you did it. You killed one of Tony's captains. Yeah. You essentially got away with it. But that guy just came in and he would not shut the hell up. He had every opportunity to just gloat for a little bit and then leave. He wanted to see what was going to happen. And he fucked around and he found out. Literally. The one or two comments that he made, I think they were going to let that slide. But yeah. he, he would not drop it. No. He wanted to see what the, what they were going to do. Yeah. And what they did was stab him in the gut like five times. Yeah. And then chopped him into pieces. Yeah. And um, I mean, the fact that they still went forward with the store explosion. Yeah. Um, it definitely did throw them off because <laughs> they were like, wait, why would he do both of those things? <laughs> yeah, why would he kill someone and blow up a store? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, Tony doesn't want any part of that. He doesn't want his name associated with it, which he really wasn't a part of it. Obviously, had he not forced his way in there with Sill, he wouldn't have maybe even known about it. Right. But yeah, I mean, there's just so much bloodshed and everything between New York and New Jersey. Like, and the fact that like little Carmine, like he had the opportunity to make this a good sit down. They were fine. And then for him to bring up his brother, like. Yeah, they were just about to be like, truce, truce. And he's like, also your brother dying or whatever. And it was just like, dude, come on. Yeah, and that was just such a dumb thing to say. And even Tony afterwards is like, what the hell were you thinking? <laughs> he's just like, uh. Yeah, he's like, oh. <laughs> Oops. Try to get it all out there. Yeah, too much. These two episodes felt more Soprano-y than the last four. Yes. Obviously a lot happened in this. I think there's a lot of storylines that we're still dealing with. It's crazy that we only have, I think, nine episodes left. From a lot of the comments that we've seen, it seems that the second part of season six moves at like a rapid pace, whereas the first part has its slower moments. I would have to assume so, because if I'm looking at the storyline right now, I'd be like, yeah, you could have like four more seasons of Sopranos content. So I have no idea how much they're going to get through in these next couple of episodes, but I'm sure it's going to continuously surprise us all the way up to the very end. Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> Great couple episodes. I mean, the show always delivers. So definitely feeling more soprano-y. Oh, for sure. <laughs>
So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you would like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those things are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.